Welcome back, I am Dr. Ruckus, and today we are playing ba -ba -da -ba, Is It Control in Top 350 Mythic, something like that. Deck is not tier 1, uh, but still pretty fun, it definitely has some strength to it. So first off, we're running four different Planeswalkers here, Jace on 3, Koth and Saheli on 4, and Teferi on 5. All of these do have the ability to draw cards, including Saheli, which has a plus 1. Uh, you can scry 1, and you may tap an untapped artifact you control if you do draw a card. Don't have that many artifacts in the deck, except for the third path, Iconic Iconoclast, which does produce artifact creature soldier tokens. So if you pump out some creatures off the Iconoclast, they are in fact artifacts. You can drop Saheli and immediately begin the drawing. Drawing is important, uh, not just for the sake of drawing, but also because it powers up your Fires of Victory, which does depend on the cards in hand. This is a solid removal spell early, where it's turn two, you got five cards in hand that can pick off probably anything on turn two. Later, it gets worse unless you have the ability to draw cards, so it's nice that these guys all draw cards. Even Koth, just adding lands to your hand every turn is quite good. Four running flames to deal with the shelters of the world, and even to an extent, add lines. Things are nice, big, and chonky. One all will be one on top is kind of an alternative win con, but really one of the bigger win cons is Light Up the Night. Uh, pay X and one to basically deal X plus one damage to creature or planeswalker, or just X damage to the face. Really nice way to just dome the opponent over the top for the win. You can also flash it back for four, remove X loyalty counters from among planeswalkers you control, and then deal uh, that much damage straight to an opponent's face, for example. So enough planeswalkers out, you can kind of sneak through the win with double casting light of the night once to hit face, and then flashback, remove all the loyalty counters off your planeswalkers to go the rest of the way. I did run two experimental auguries today. You really don't need more than one. This is not a turn two play. This is like a turn six play. You top deck it, you pump up all of your uh, planeswalkers by proliferating, and you get an extra minus out of each of them you didn't expect that turn and completely run away with the game that's where you want this thing i would drop this you could put like obliterating bolt in there or maybe just even another light of the night which is a solid removal spell right two mana deal two damage three mana deal three damage like it goes even for the most part and then also some cheap strangle in here one mana deal three damage two target creature planeswalker and a little bit of counter magic that is the deck if you want to support the channel just watch the whole video to the end enjoy the gameplay let's dive right in all right that's a hand we'll keep this planes Sure. Give me the old mountain treatment. Triple Iconoclast. Good if we get some cheap stuff. White do nothing, alright. Well, let's try this guy out. Delta neutral. Third land. What are we doing? It's an Aganjo. Alright, so they're, uh... Monoway control, I suppose. I think we just get the Jace going here. Be man efficient. Cool, take the card draw, mill the opponent a bit. Although, hold on, did the game just bug? If we mill the opponent, it actually helps them uh, get back something. Eh. All right, let's mill ourselves for that reason. All be one could have been kind of nice. Yep, swing for two. Can flash in the Emperor now if they want. Got more Iconic class on the way. Don't have double red for Koth yet. Game's looking buggy, I feel like. Something ain't right here. Why is Jace highlighted? Is it me or the game? Waiting announcement. All right. Land for us. Plus here. We need enough fires juice to pick off the three, four. I think we're going to be okay there, though. Play out the foundry. Play out a iconoclast. Get him with both these guys. Hope open, open uh, make the spear, maybe fires. Okay. Need it all down to 15. See if we need to counter something, or we can pick off the restoration with fires this turn. Flashing the Emperor giving a plus one counter would get through fires, though. Actually, I shouldn't even have a red for that right now. Okay, flip, do nothing. My move. Yes, yeah, so they're looking to flash in the Emperor here. So we should be okay with uh, playing the land and kicking the fires. Yeah, I think that's what we're doing here. Kick it, pick you off. There's the Emperor. But if they plus, uh, should still deal five damage. They do. But we draw the card. So now we have five cards, so it still dies. So that was a mistake on their part. I'm pretty good about that. Plus onto one of you guys. Send in the 1-1. One, one. 
Alright, that's what we got this turn. Takes a trade, that's fine. Wedding announcement's about to flip. Those all become two twos next turn. Another wedding announcement. They hold open mana for the next Emperor. I kind of think we just want more Iconoclast out. I don't mind drawing, especially if we hit land, that'd be great. So let's start with the Minus here. I think that's fine. Ossify. Seal from Resistance. It's not a land, sadly. We can't Iconoclast and Fires this turn because we are super bottlenecked on red. I still think we just need as many Iconoclasts down as possible and just lose Jace this turn. Place the Healy, try to hit the land, but it just dies. Alright, we're just gonna do this. It's pretty sad. Need that other red source. Don't have it though. Okay, that's all. That's tough. That's really tough. Make the Mirax token. It's not another Emperor, at least yet. Okay, that's fine. Make one guy bigger, still easy to chump. Just you? Okay. Easy chump then. Happy to take this block, keep Jace around. You can always make more 1 1 tokens. We got three Iconoclasts down. Waiting announcement again. Okay. It's a red source. That's really good. So it's probably Fires and Sahili this turn. Pick off the Emperor seems fine to me. Okay, let's start here. I think we're not kicking it. I think we're just dealing some damage there. Trigger, trigger, trigger. Definitely land for turn. We're out of red, so it's Healy here. Unless we want to hold the counter for the next Emperor. I'm okay just doing this. Trigger, trigger, trigger is nice. They Mirax. Okay, I mean, that's something. I think we take the plus and draw. Maybe it's just the Opters here. They didn't attack last turn. Okay, that's all for now. Weird game. Later on arms one of them. If we can just continue to draw and make more tokens of them per turn. I think we can get out of this. But they haven't started attacking yet. They need to start attacking. Their 2-2s two are going to give us uh, quite a bit of trouble. Okay, everyone goes after Jace. I think we just let that go. Yeah, I think we just let that one go. More wedding announcement. Flip again. Land's okay in general. If we're gonna cough and plus, could do that first. Wouldn't mind taking the scry though. I guess we don't need you because we're about to cough anyway. Alright, removal, fine. Take the plus, take the mountain. Play the mountain this turn. That's all we got for now. Might rending flame the 5-5. Five five. Hold up in four mana still, okay. We could rending flame you now. Puts our counter shields down, but they have so much mana anyway. Okay, five damage here. More blockers. Takes three tokens to trade with a single Murex. It's kind of an issue. Do nothing. That's huge. This can almost just win us the game on the spot, actually. I think that's going to be game. So we can start with a plus. Take the land. Still fine to play this out. 
Just need four open. So we can play this for uh, three. Go face here. That's good. Good to see that mana used now. These things cannot block. And uh, if they don't have an Emperor, they would just get through for a lot of damage here. We'll take the plus. Technically, we get more damage if we minus two, though. Now I want to take the plus. Uh, it's fine. doesn't help us right now, though. Let's grab with you. That's all fine and dandy. Two attackers. Get everyone in there. Even that might be close to game. We might not even need the second light up the night. I was thinking they would hold open four mana for an Emperor, flash it in, minus two, gain a little life. It's a 9, 10, 11. So we're short by one. Okay, light up the night. Ah, I have to select the counters. We'll do 11 here. All right, to the face. Okay, weird game. Uh, they probably could have been way more aggressive when they had two twos and three threes versus our one ones. But since they didn't attack too much, we got to preserve our resources and kind of stall out for a bit. On the play with some removal, we'll keep this. Plenty of mountains too for Koth. Maybe we'll get Koth, uh, start moving towards Koth. Make sure he's got enough firepower. Blue. That's fine. Mono blue. Well, that's tough. Uh, I think we still go for this. We don't have land. I mean, we'd love for this to resolve and be able to minus two. They don't always have it. Frequently they will, but we're going to try it here. Yeah, so they have the counter, but we desperately need to hit land to do anything. So the off chance that it does resolve, we get to minus two, have a chance to hit land is all pretty big. Don't hit land again. Counter is okay. Means if they want to go land Jin, they also have to have spell pierce. They go for it. Yeah, we'll definitely try this while we can. Less likely to have spell pierce uh, than maybe uh, some kind of protection spell. We hit the next land and they're tapped out, so we get to do whatever we want here. Koth resolving isn't bad because it adds cards to hand, which makes fires big enough to kill subsequent gins. We kind of just need to keep hitting land for Teferi. They say hello, they think we're going too slow. Hey man, I gotta think. Cool, we'll take the mountain. They don't tap out, so we can just plus forever here, which is pretty amazing. Don't need to slam anyone else. We'll just plus until the end of time. Until we run out of lands, at least. Yeah, don't need to run into any counters. We'll just sit here a while. Eventually, Koth will be big enough to take out a Jin. Continue to plus. These fires are getting pretty big. It's quite nice. Okay, so now we can run out Sahili under the first Make Disappear. So we'll give that a go. Might see a double Make Disappear. Sure. Resolve. We'll try to pay the two. And then we'll see the next Spell Pierce Make Disappear. There it is. Two for one. Gotta work our way through it somehow. Caught that a nasty 10 here. I don't even know if we, uh, minus seven. We don't have that many mountains in the deck. I do think we minus. So certainly land first. I don't mind trying to resolve Teferi under the Make Disappear. Let's try this. Hard counter. All right. Done. Well, we'll go ahead and minus three. We do have five mountains, so we're hoping they don't have the phase out, but we'll find out. Even if they did, cost still at 7. Timer comes out, they're thinking. They fading hope their own thing, that's fine, we can't target. Resolve. Uh, we'll decline, there's no reason to pay the mana now. Though we don't have anything better to do anyway. Looking pretty good though. We can try the next Teferi here. It's a Jin with no protection, that's fine. And the Terror as well. I mean, we can easily kill all this stuff. I think we just fires now. 
We could save it to kick, but then we can't play Teferi. So we'll just do this for four. Pick you off. And then we'll cough the next one. Okay, we can play Teferi here. We'll take the spirit. We'll minus the cough. They say oops, we still have two mana to pay. Resolve. Auto pay. Alright, that's looking... <laughs> Mirrodin, lend me your flame, yeah. That's looking like a bout game to me. I would be surprised. I mean, if they have flow of knowledge and draw five, I guess that's a good way to get back into it. We're going to start drawing aggressively here. They say oops again, probably because they hit land or something. That's fine. Plus here, it's not drawing, it's revealing and adding. That's okay though. And probably just keep making little spirits. It's nice to see a familiar face. <laughs> These lines are pretty good. This guy's like a copy of him, right? He's looking at himself. See how handsome he is? I feel that. They don't scoop, though. They are a trooper. Yep. Everyone getting bigger. Plus on here. Almost out of mountains. Draw here. Saying oops. I don't really know why. Good game. Yes, I agree. Good game. You're not you're the one who's not scooping. Down to six. End here. Shockingly they refuse to scoop. Impulse, too little too late, even with flow of knowledge. I guess they could they could pull off a miraculous March of Swirling Mist and just draw all the March of Swirling Mist and all the gins. Phase out our entire board every turn. Even that. It's a lot. It's a lot to ask for. Okay, gain control of this thing. Fine. Does not have haste. My move, fires isn't big enough yet. And we just minus this thing and kill it. So that's probably what we'll do here. Make it nice and easy. Looking more and more like game. <laughs> this is for the fallen, yeah? Chase, okay. I mean, we could draw here too if we needed to. Seems unnecessary at this point. I think we just swing in here. Okay. It's good to be mono blue. Can't complain too much. On the play, I mean, you hope they have creatures, right? Otherwise, you're really sad. We're going to keep this. I think it's better than mulliganing. If there is Zoria's control, then we just hit the scoop button. It's mono black. Okay. Still hoping they have creatures here. Nope. Feeling sad. We could all agree this turn if we really wanted to. Try to hit something other than... Land or removal. I think I'm down for that. See if they play a running flame target though. That's interesting. Okay. What does this mean about their deck? Then we hold on a minute, see what else they got. Do we care if they counter this? Not really. Let's just eat two, see what happens. What do you got? Kaito Shizuki. But we can't target that this turn anyway. We're not going to draw into a counter we can play. So I guess we'll still fire as the fairy here. Though taking that draw isn't awful. I think we're going to Rending Flame, actually. It's more expensive, but I like the idea of keeping fires around for a turn we can actually get some more value off of it. Okay, here, I guess we're going to Rending Flame the next one as well. Okay, pick you off before you have the chance to plus. See if they have a counter, they don't. Land and fires in hand. So Mirex, that could be an issue for us eventually. They do nothing though. I mean, we're also going to do nothing here. We'll play a land. Hold double augury. Try to draw into something useful on their turn. Let's see if they Mirex. That'll be interesting. They do. Let's take one of these under any kind of counter. Just to start. Whew. Not what you want to see. We really want the other one to resolve, though. But if they're afraid of a counter spell, maybe we just sit here. Okay. Weird game. Definitely eat this first one. Okay, yeah, we're going to try for this. I'll take the damage, sure. 
They do suspiciously have five mana open. Koth. It's a card. Gets under make disappear with the land. It's not awful. I'll take it. Uh, no counters, please. Thank you. So we'll go mountain here. We'll attempt to get under make disappear. Successfully lands. Go ahead and plus. Sheldred's Edict, sack a Planeswalker. Too bad. Still get the trigger. A lot of land this game. Absurd amounts of land. We definitely want to kick the fires. Just to draw a freaking card. Up to two poison. Hmm. Don't like that. Okay, so they can grab Koth and all of our other Koths. We're going to kill this thing immediately, but still. My move. We can play the land. Assume they don't have Spell Pierce. Or rather, we can play through Spell Pierce anyway. We'll draw the card off the kick fires. I think it's all okay. Let's do this now before they potentially counter something. Kick it. Four damage here. Draw first. Ah, we are out of blue. That's too bad. I think Auto Tapper did us a little dirty there, right? Why did it, uh... I mean, it's my fault, obviously. Underdog's awful. That's really bad for us. We basically have no answer to that. Strangle does not exile, right? Nope. Yeah, that looks... That's, that's awful for us, for sure. So, it's gotta be some huge Planeswalker. I mean, we might even burn this here. Just because we can. Cut down. Yeah, underdog is going to be the coup de gras. Cut down again, sure. Okay, they just underdog us every turn for the rest of the game. This was a pretty floody Liliana. We're trying to drop off a land here. We have enough blue, we'll just go rid of the card they know about. Go for the throat. Yeah, just underdog us to death. And Liliana. Let's see if we can draw more land. We can. <laughs> we can do it. It can be done. Uh, okay. Alright, well. I didn't want that card. I didn't want to play that card anyway. <sighs> cool. Underdog. To the face. Down to five. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Excellent. Counterspell. Perfect. Excellent. <laughs> Two turns left. Discard. Yes. Maybe she'll ult next turn. I don't know. Sheldred. Okay. And that is game. Attack. Lose two off the draw. I will concede. I do not need to see more of that game. Not at all. 329 Mythic. Okay. On the draw. Eh. You don't really want the Augur in the opening hand. Phoenix Chick? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's gonna be a tough game. We're gonna just get steamrolled immediately. Pick you off. See what's next. Epicure. It's not a hasty 2 2 at least. Another Epicure. Hmm. Not a good start at all. We want to augury here. Into what? Just more removal? Impulse? Okay, maybe they take a turn off. Land and warfare. No other one drops. We probably just want more land in general. We're going to Rending Flame this turn, most likely. Yeah, you want the land to play Jace without having to... Um, without having to lose any more life. Play fire to the face, down to 12. One to the bottom. It's a land. We don't need more red yet. We really don't want the pain lands. I guess we're okay. We'll take this guy. Alright, plenty of land anyway. This turn we'll rending flame. And then try to do a full price Jace or Sahili next turn. The minus ones uh, can at least trade with the Epicures. Here comes a lot of damage though. Yep, this turn's gonna suck. 
Probably just slow him down with one rending flame. As wasteful as it looks. Slow him down as much as you can. Take one there instead of two off the warfare. Two to the face, down to nine. Maybe full price Jace here. Pretty big, a lot of loyalty survive stuff. Can easily plus. Turn off the Epicure as a damage source. Okay, they don't cycle, so they like their hands pretty bad. Another Warfare. That doesn't scare us with the Epicure, actually. Both fire. What's that, four damage? Still alive. Not bad. Well, it's definitely Sahili this time. Eat some damage. Down to eight now. Not great. We'll take some blockers for sure. Plus here. Maybe we hit him with one. How greedy is that? It's pretty greedy. No attacks. Swift Spear, sure. We can chump one of those. And the festivities. No chumps. Alright, that could just be game. <laughs> oh, lose all our planeswalkers drop to one. Pain land damage off the Koth. Should we self-immolate? What else can we do here? We can go land. Jace draw into something. There's nothing we can draw that can possibly get us out of this. I think it's just self-immolate. Yeah, I think so. Goodbye. <laughs> Not our best matchup. Uh, we, we gotta be way more stable against Mono Red. We were on the draw, and I don't know. It happens sometimes. Alright, thank you for staying to the end. If you enjoyed today's video, please drop a like, a comment, and a subscribe. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.